Well, imagine spending hundreds of dollars to lay your pet to rest in a pet cemetery, only to find out years later the owner didn't actually own the land. Yeah, it's happening to thousands of people at the Heavenly Acres Cemetery in Livingston County. They're looking at hundreds, even thousands of dollars to remove their pet's remains. But as Jason Colthorpe reports, that's if they can find the grave. There are about 74,000 pets buried out here, and the owners of them have been notified they have to exhume the remains themselves if they want to keep them. But one of the many problems out here, as you can see, it's terribly overgrown. So while some headstones are uncovered, others are completely covered. There's one right there. But if folks aren't lucky enough to step on one like this, they can be lost forever. Upwards of 100 of us that are trying to get our dogs and cats out of here. Pat Mankin has a pet buried here at Heavenly Acres, which closed last September. She and many others were sent a letter by the law firm representing the current landowners, informing them of just nine specific days with four hour windows to remove their pet's remains. How would you describe that letter? Very threatening. They also have to waive any future liability to do it. They're asking um, us to release them from any liability that um, they might have here, but they're causing us extreme liability by even going back there and trying to get our pets out. It's very dangerous back there. Yesterday was the first day to dig up remains, and Pat says one couple in particular was quite troubled. They had leeches were on them, mosquitoes were were biting them and they could not find their dog. They spent several hours out here looking for their dog and their dog has a headstone. Other pet owners believe the Livingston County prosecutor should be looking at the previous owner who went belly up here for knowingly selling promises she couldn't keep. Many people who have buried their pets here have passed away and they, they buried their pets here with the understanding that it would be a forever place for them mm -hmm. and clearly it's not. It was hard enough burying your pet in the first place and it was very traumatic and now we're all going through it again. There are a couple court dates coming up, but the, the pet owners I've talked to aren't very optimistic about that. As for getting their pets remains, well, they've been told they have until September 7th to do that. In Howell today, Jason Colthorpe, Local 4. All right, Jason. Well, the former owner of the cemetery currently owns a pet cremation service. She didn't return our call, and the lawyer who sent the letters to pet owners also is not allowed to comment publicly.